Hey, what's up everybody? It's Pablo1713. Hi and welcome there. Airport CEO and welcome to our beautiful hot rebel base airport. So as you can see you can find the hot sign right in here we have hot. Yes, yeah, so this is hot rebel base airport and as you remember we had some problems last time. Actually, you know, the aircraft has the problem because we have the emergency situation and as you can see it is on greens which means that it's resolved. Yeah, 100%. So the aircraft is still in the hangar. So Probably it must take some time until he's gonna get out and probably depart or get to the position, I don't know. And right on the bottom, as you can see, our medium aircraft is just departing from our airport. So yeah, this is our medium aircraft right here and small aircrafts are departing on this small runway. So yeah, two departures and today we're gonna do a lot of stuff again, I think. So yeah, so this was incident report was resolved, so now it is finished and uh, yeah, a lot of stuff today. So. First of all, you know, remember that we had some problems right in here with the catering depot. So yeah, there was a blockage with the cars because they have just one small tiny road right in here. So I think that we're going to move everything to the right side as we got some space right in here. So let me just destroy this. I know that we are like at the end of the day, so it's going to be really dark in a few hours from now. I don't know, maybe like two. I'm not, not sure how much. Actually, I can't know because it's like two, two. So... We're gonna move everything to the right side and we're gonna destroy also this. I'm not sure if we're gonna destroy this as well. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of destruction. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need to destroy this for sure. This and this. And also sidewalk in here. And also the fence right in here as we're gonna get the road in here. Except from this, I think. There, we got our constructions. They're gonna try to deconstruct everything. And in the, time we can, in the meantime, we can just place some stuff in here. So I think that it's going to be in the air infrastructure. Yeah, there's a service car stop. So we're going to place it right in here. This is our place for the... This, and then we're going to have the airside shuttle bus stop. So we're going to place it right in here. Okay, so this gives us some additional space. So I'm just waiting until they're going to destroy this. And yeah, take this. Crosswalk also. For this. Okay, so this is done. So now we need some, to make it a little quickly. <laughs> There's like, yeah, vehicle checkpoint. So I'm gonna like rotate it. I'm not so, no, I cannot rotate it because right now, as you can see, the top part is right now the road, number road, and the service road is at the bottom. So I think that we're gonna place this right in here or in here. Maybe let's try to place this right in here. Hopefully there are going to be no blockages. Yeah, I'm going to try to, you know, make the clean cut in here, which means that I'm going to need to destroy also this. And then also the sidewalk right in here. And now, oh, you know, some repairment right in here. So asphalt road in here. And then we're going to need to have the service road right in here. Let's make, it, make some concrete right in here. So something different. And at the bottom here, we're going to have the asphalt. Right, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna need to wait until they're gonna destroy everything. So, yeah, this is fixed as you can see now. Thanks to that, it will be much easier for the catering vehicles to get in here into our catering depot. So, we'll have no more problems. That should be okay. With the vehicles, yeah, I made the changes in the color. So, now the as you can see, cleaning truck is kind of brown like the waste. Then we have blue airside shuttle buses pink so kind of foody delicious food catering trucks and then i see trucks in here and then red fuel kind of red ish color with the black fuel gray then we have the blue green service cars normal baggages so yep and then we have yeah star truck so we can make it like kind of blue yep welcome on our blue airport okay so this is good Everything seems to be okay. And yes, a very important thing. If you're gonna go to the options menu and the gameplay settings, there is a passengers per flight ratio. And I had this set before 250 because this is the normal thing. So the default ratio is 50. So I changed it to 100 thanks to that we're gonna have much more passengers in our aircraft. So this means that also we're gonna have much more movement in our airport. So as you can see, it can happen that two flights are kind of at the same time like in here in this situation which means that our check-in will be full and this may lead actually to some you know delays and we don't want to have this 
we have small check-in right in here and we have the medium check-in right in here so i want to extend this to have the additional so yes build the queue i think that i'm going to try try to make the, the same design perfect so we got this and now we need to connect it to the baggage bay okay so we're going to just connect it in here connection good oh yeah with the belts we're going to go with the, the belt and just try to place it right in here something like this and then i'm going to go down in here why down in here i'll just show you in a few seconds so yeah, escalator down let's rotate this right in here and thanks to that it's gonna go and pop up in here so i could actually no i could not because there was a, the belt is at the top in here i cannot go down in this area because it's gonna overlap in here so thanks to that i will just go and go and something like this go in here so yeah we're gonna connect to our main be belt right in here as you can see this is underground in here and it's going up in here and then it can go right in here so yeah perfect so we have this done i hope that they're gonna build this really quickly good job guys what about the bottom stuff still not yet all right so they did this done this so it should work perfectly yeah so it's gonna connect to the main belt and go with the baggage so perfect so now we have two check-ins and thanks to that we can avoid overlapping but this also means that we probably have we need to hire two more people in here so passenger service agent i'm gonna hire two more people just to make sure that they're gonna get everything in here done without any delays so passenger service agent let's hire like this and okay perfect but now as we gotta have more people waiting in this area i think that we're gonna use this area and we're gonna build first restaurant because we did not Made any restaurants yet so we're gonna make this food room right in here right in here perfect and then let's double check what are the demands if we're gonna sign the contract we're gonna check that the size is okay for them because it's 200 so everybody is okay with the size so this is very good information for us and then we need to have cooking station four bridges bridges so let's just focus on somebody that has like three stars maybe so la french maybe so they're gonna need display fridges no we don't want to chairs tables cooking station three oh valentino italian why not so yeah we're gonna focus and try to make this room for them we're gonna have three cooking stations so this is correct like three stoves i never know which way is the front desk so this is the place where the people are gonna sit. Beautiful Italian restaurant in our airport. So because we had the emergency situation last time, so we had to build the emergency hangar for the small aircraft right in here, it can happen that we're gonna have the emergency with the medium aircrafts. So what I'm now thinking that I think that I'm gonna extend the road right in here and place some additional hangars right in here just in case something bad is going to happen what more i think they're going to extend the service road right in here for example to connect everything in here and thanks to that we're going to place our emergency station so emergency depot and everything so first of all let's change again the building to the planning mode so thanks to that we will not build anything we're just going to plan so we're just going to go with the taxi normal asphalt taxi yes taxiway right in this direction i don't know how long it should be maybe i'm gonna just first go right in here and go the grass one what if i'm gonna connect this one in here make like that yeah i think i'm gonna do something like this first of all let's destroy this let's use the orange guy just to make this i'm gonna for sure build this because i'm gonna need this so let's be connect this in here so that's gonna be the connection and then we're gonna have the world right in here yeah that's the idea so now i'm gonna change to the building planning mode so 
yeah, 1500, yes, 100. Correct. Yeah, I'm gonna place like three hangers right in here. And this is because they require actually the connection for the service road. So I'm just gonna connect it right in here. Here. Going around right here. And then we can connect everything with the main road right in here. Okay, we're gonna have the connection, so this is very looking very good. So yeah, they are building this because it's gonna be useful for us to have it. So I'm gonna change everything to the orange guy and I'm just gonna build this. Okay, and don't forget of course about the taxiway path. Alright, so this is how it's gonna be connected right in here. And then connection. Right, something like this should be okay. Alright, so as they are building in here, I think that they're gonna also place the response units. So airport police station we have in here and I have emergency response station. So yeah, we're gonna place it. It's kinda of huge one as you can see, but it's not gonna fit perfectly. Means that we're gonna block in here. But I think that I'm gonna place it right in here. Do I want to buy this right away? Yeah, I think so. We're gonna probably need it anyway. So I'm gonna build this, but I'm not gonna build the police station response unit. So we're gonna go with airport police station right in here and just connect it next to maybe like this. Okay. This is how it's gonna be. As you can see, we need to connect this. So we're gonna change to normal mode and we're gonna connect everything with maybe concrete. Here. Okay, that's the idea. And I'm gonna just connect everything right in here. So there's gonna be additional connection in here and also right in here. Okay, so this is the response unit. Alright, so as this is built, this means that we have four parking spaces available. So we need to buy maximum four cars in here. We're gonna go to our vehicles and we're gonna buy the fire truck and one ambulance and with the police car so well, this is our ambulance right in here as you can see so he's gonna park somewhere in here all right so he's waiting in the depot right in here so we're gonna just change the colors for sure we're gonna keep the ambulance yellow and the fire truck should be red so we're gonna set the color to red more reddish yes we have in here and we have the ambulance right in here yellow so yeah this is looking very good where is our fire truck yeah it's right in here kind of big one but thanks to this we can respond to any emergency now oh yes we're gonna have also the police station built why not i thought <laughs> why not so this means that we can buy also the police car so we're gonna go into vehicles and buy the police airport police car yeah so we're gonna have also police car yeah so we have the police car right in here oh uh, he's gonna also park in here oh yeah so he's gonna wait right in here so the maximum i think that's gonna be four so eight is that correct yeah seven spaces left so maximum eight police cars right in here so yeah thanks to that they are connected very well into this area and also into this area if you're gonna later on expand right in this we're gonna probably have to Buy additional depot to make it shorter way to go to the bigger aircrafts like the large one so as you can see valentino is working very good so they have customers right now they have already nine 205 is the target sale i hope that they're gonna meet this and to help them with this we're gonna need to expand so we're gonna expand in here with the additional medium stand so first of all we have the runway is not connected we're gonna connect the runway need to just build in here so i'm just gonna build this this means that we're gonna be able to will be connected to the run runway so this is the runway. okay so we're gonna have this departure runway then boarding desk we have the one boarding in here which means that we're gonna expand and we're gonna make for example maybe in here we're gonna build this as well so this is something that we planned in the last episode so i'm gonna build this area we have additional desks 
then we need to security checkpoint. Yeah, we had the security checkpoint and probably it's going to be busy in here. So we're going to actually connect the baggage bay also. So the baggage bay is going to be, this is the baggage bay, which also means that probably we're going to need to buy like another belt loader. Uh, yeah, I think so. So we're going to go and buy additional vehicles for this, for our extension. So for sure, we're going to need ad additional pushback just to be sure. Additional stair truck. Airside shuttle bus, yes, probably as well. Service car again. All belt road loader again, why not? And the baggage truck as well. So yeah, that is the big tension that we need to make. As you can see, we have the new type of the fuel truck. The fuel flow is much faster than its processor. Okay, so let's buy additional fuel truck. So yeah, this is a big, big extension. Cabin cleaning truck, we have this, the, yeah. So I think that this is all the additional vehicles that we need. So let them go, I'm gonna pay them. So yeah, everything is almost on green. Then we need the boarding desk. Is it completed? Yes, it is completed. So we're gonna go to the boarding desk and we're gonna connect the stand. So aircraft stand right in here. Perfect. So this is connected. And then we're gonna connect the airside shuttle stop. So I think that we're gonna connect this time this one so the second one we're not gonna use the same one so we're gonna choose different one so this is connected very good so now we need to just service car stop yeah we're gonna need to connect this as well and we have an additional emergency emergency incident global economy crash oh wow Okay, you can expect down around in the passengers aircraft traffic in this near future. <laughs> Not very good at 0.1% reach. So, we cannot do anything with this emergency event. We just need to wait that it's gonna finish. <laughs> That's all. Well, we're gonna try to handle this and survive somehow. Well, yeah, connect service car stop. We're gonna do this and the car stop will be right in here. Perfect. So everything is connected. We have everything. So this is the remote stand. We're gonna open this. This means that this is functioning. And now we're gonna just press F to go to our plan. As you can see, we have the new stand available. And as you remember, we had the better prices for some aircrafts, air companies. So I think that we're gonna do to try to simplify this. I'm gonna try to make sure that the blue ones gonna be only for the big, to the medium aircrafts, and for example, purple ones. And the green ones may be only for the small aircrafts. So this is the idea. Right now I'm gonna just try to check who has the aircraft available. So yeah, as you can see we have the green better prices in here. Nothing from the goose, nothing in here. And here we have four flights available. So I mean we can try to accept like one additional aircraft right in here. And this is the time when we're gonna try to have the first gap like one hour gap like this remember this and the thing is that we're reaching out almost the capacity limit which is right now 24 now we're gonna have 25 so it's gonna be too late uh, yeah i'm not gonna risk this i'm gonna go to the saturday and i'm gonna place additional aircraft in here so well it wasn't good decision but anyway i'm gonna make a new contract with the blue one company with some blue company so let's go to the contracts and here we got 10 points so now the fuel we can negotiate to this once again so this time they should accept 83 percent accepted very good thank you very much very good okay so we have the contracts we're gonna try to find the blue company oh well i hope that they're gonna be blue zoom yeah let's sign the contract with zoom we're gonna see what the color they have yeah kind of blue one so we're gonna now focus them on the uh, this and later on we're gonna negotiate the contract we're gonna try you know they, it's kind of gray but kind of bluish some kind of so yeah we're gonna try to focus them also who we'll have only medium aircrafts for us so this was the 12 so now we're gonna go and 11 Perfect.
And yeah, we reached the maximum capacity, which means that we need to expand this. So we're gonna go and we need to buy... Let's go in here. We're gonna need to have a new ATC tower, medium one, which enables higher coverage, coverage of the aircrafts that are incoming in here. I think they're gonna place it... I don't know which area. Maybe let's make the ATC area in here. Because anyway, we have the medium across departing from here. So yeah, it's going to be a good idea to have the ATC kind of nearby. So we're going to need to wait until they're going to build this. Oh so, yeah, we got the aircraft right in here. So this is the medium penguin, <laughs> as I can say. So the aircraft from the penguin company right in here. So this is his stand. So this is inauguration for our new stand. So stand number two. As you can see, new blue bus, shuttle bus is waiting here. Okay, all the requests should be fulfilled. So now we have the passenger bus in here. They don't need, I think, the stairs because different type of aircraft. Yeah, this is correct. So they have their own stairs, so they don't have to worry about this. So yes, this is correct. We have the new fuel truck, as you can see, the bigger one, as it should be able to refuel our aircraft in the one action in the first attempt. So let's double check. I hope so. Here we got the catering. No, this is the cleaning garbage, because it looks like garbage. And this is our candy looking, so catering right in here. We have the belt loader, we have the baggage truck in here. So everything seems to be okay in here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need even more people. Just double check. Are they? Hey, okay, yeah, we got agents in here. Let's double check. Do we need some stuff? Janitors, more. Technical soccer security officer. Okay, ramp agent. Eight of seven. Yeah, I think that everything seems to be okay still. Yeah, and we are getting to the end of the day and, and to the end of the episode. So yeah, we almost end in here, so we've done this, we're gonna do one more thing, because in here, yeah, it can be get a little bit, a huge blockage in here, so I'm gonna make additional medium security checkpoint, so oh my god, it is huge, it is kinda huge one, and have the medium security, right in here, perfect, alright, this is done, this is perfect, and now let's build the queue, Yeah, snake style. Okay, so how many people are we gonna need in here? I have no information. How many? We have five jobs available. So which means that we need four security officers. Okay, so we're gonna go and buy the security officers. We're gonna hire security officers right in here. So we're gonna hire one, two, three, and four. Okay, so four security guys. They should arrive in here. And yeah, I think that I can paint this area again. Yes, I can. Alright, so this is perfect. And now... Alright, so they are walking. As you can see, it is kind of huge one. And four people are working in here. So they are checking the bags. So now it's going to be much more secure for us. In this area. Alright, so this is perfect. Alright, so I think that's going to be the end for this episode. It was kind of short, but we're going to try to make it longer in the future episode. Alright, so that's it for today, boys and girls. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope that you had some fun with me. And I hope that we can meet each other next time. So, boys and girls, have a wonderful day. And if you're watching this at night, then good night. See you next time.